see an icon there on the um, that first column under projects. There's an airplane icon and time off. And I know that that applies, I guess, to the time off tab. Um, but I'd like you to just show me how you put in a time off record and uh, just kind of get a sense for how that feature works. Yeah, sure. Um, first, you click on the plus symbol, and it'll open up your list of time off reasons. You get to define how many time off reasons you have and all that good stuff and how fast it accrues for each employee. But for me, when I want to put a request for time off or actually uh, put some time in a day, let's just say for Monday I'm going to take eight hours of personal time. I'll just type eight hours in here. And when I go to tab out of the system, it's just going to pull up a little form. It's basically pre-populated for me. It shows that I'm taking personal time right here, and it says I'm taking eight hours. It shows the beginning and ending date, and all I need to do is really hit save and close. And now that time has been submitted for my time off request, and then it will appear over here in this time off tab up on the right-hand side. Okay. It's different because the timesheet, when you put time in against one of these jobs here like Chevron or Dynamics Research, when you put time into your actual work, it becomes a time log, and it shows up in the time log tab as a historical record of your work hours. Or is it project time, then. Yeah, it's project time, exactly. Or task time, something you did in a task for a project. But either way, it shows up in the time log as a historical time record, whereas a time off request for personal time shows up here in the time off tab as my request for time off. And In fact, I'll go ahead and click on the time off tab like I just did, and I'm going to click on the date range here and say, show me my time off request for this month. And there you see is my eight hours that I just put in for time off on Monday. Okay, and then so this can um, track from my accrued hours? Right, right, exactly. So when I put in that little um, eight hours for a uh, personal time on Monday, my manager will get an automatic email notification that says Warren has requested eight hours of personal time. And once that's approved, it's automatically deducted from my uh, available amount of time in my bank. So all of these times comp time, jury duty, other, personal, so on, every one of them has their own bank of time available, and when I take time away from that or request time off, it's automatically deducted from my available time. Hey, great. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Hey, you bet. Thanks.